Okay, what we're going to do here today is I'm going to show you all how to take apart a Smith & Wesson M&P 40. It's the military and police version. Uh, just standard, nothing's been done to it with the sights or anything like that. Um, it's pretty simple. You just take your gun right here. First thing, bring your slide back, just like that. Simple. You want to make sure uh, you can use your finger or whatever, something small. Inside the gun, you want to go to the activation lever right down here. I actually don't know what it's called, but that's what I'm going to call it. Okay, so now you can see that's sticking out. Next thing you want to do is right here, you have a little slide. Make sure you bring this down. Okay, this is going to allow the slide to come off of the base of the gun. So now what we do here is just let it go. Slides right off. There's one piece right there. Okay. On the upper part of the slide, we have the spring. Pop that right out just like that. The bolt right here just slides right out just like that. And there's your slide. And that's pretty much it. The gun's apart. <clears throat> uh, it's already clean. You know, one of the things you want to make sure that you do after you clean your gun is make sure you oil right here the bolt. Make sure you oil all around the top part of it. So that's the part that slides back and forth on the slide right here. You want to make sure that's nice and oiled up so you don't have any issues. All right, now, basically, we're going to do the same thing, except for it's going to be backwards. You know, take your bolt and just put it right back in the upper part of the slide and bring it back so it clicks. Take your spring right here. All right, this the part right here where it looks like you got a hexagon right there. That's going to go right down in here. And then you just press it so the spring goes forward and catches on the bolt right there. Okay, so that's the upper part of your slide right there. Next thing you do is you just take your gun here. You take the two indicator marks right here that look like they have little cuts in them. And you just pretty much put it right on the gun. Make sure everything lines up. You hear a click. There's your click right there. Okay. And last thing we want to make sure that we do when we bring it back is just bring that switch back like that. Guns back together. Last thing is you go back to your activation lever right inside of here and you want to make sure that you bring that back into the closed position so there's no issues. And that's it right there.